Hey folks, welcome back. In this video I am gonna show you the best 3D printed gravity knife that I found, which is this one here. The gun gravity knife designed by Mad Mantis. So the mechanism to open and close it is based on gravity, or gravital force as you can also fling it to open it. It has a locking mechanism, is free to download and makes you look cooler when you open packages and letters with it. In this video I will show you how to build it and what I have customized to make it work as intended. And before we start building, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, who have their 11th anniversary and have a lot of discounts and coupon codes at the moment. In addition to customized PCBs, they offer CNC milling, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing and injection molding. On their site you can easily upload your drawing and get an instant quote. And if you need high quality tools, you can also find things in their store like this motion controlled electric screwdriver or this temperature controlled cordless soldering iron, which I got myself and which you often see in my videos. And with the link in the description you can also get an additional $5 off your first order. And now let's build the knife. You can download it from Thingiverse for free, link is in the description and you got all these files. You can choose from a variety of blade assemblies and there are two different variants. One for which you can use a threaded insert and the other which uses a M2 nut. So you can choose which you prefer. I go for the threaded insert on the outer handle and I printed it in this marble slate grey PLA by Polyterra. I printed it laying flat, using some supports here which came off easy, but left some little bumps that I remove with the file. Next up is the inner handle. This one I printed standing up with some supports using a filament called Nice Bio by 3D Jake. Now the blade assembly consisting of these two parts, the blade holder and the blade cover. I picked that variant that offers the most area of the blade. You can use a standard 60mm blade for this and you sandwich it in between. These holes are meant for countersunk screws, which I don't have. I use these button head screws, which are M2 and 4mm length. As you can see, they are not all the way flat, but they will work. Later on I realized that the screw holes of the blade holder are too big. So I had to redo this part here. For that I jumped into Tinkercad, where I first centered the new smaller holes, then filled the old ones and finally extruded the new smaller holes. And I then have uploaded this modified part to Thingiverse, so you don't have to do it yourself. Um, and we let the printer do its thing. And here you can see the difference between the old and the new part, which is just the size of the holes. The blade again goes there, and this time the screws sit tight. And at last I printed all the small pieces. On my printer I run the 0.6mm high flow nozzle and it's set to print fast, but here clearly a thinner nozzle and less speed would have been better for the details. We can now do the locking mechanism, which gets here in this hole and it consists of this part here and on the other side goes this button. I used this pointed tool thingy to align the smaller part on the inside and so that it doesn't fall out you can use something like a pencil to hold it in this position. On the other side goes this switch button which you screw on with a 4mm M2 screw. Do not over tighten it, in the end it should be easy to slide it back and forth. Now we can add the inner handle to it. The easiest way to do this is to put it on like this. Bring the slider you have just attached into the right position and then spread the ends back here with your fingers and press the two parts lightly into each other. To screw these parts together you need one of these 14mm long M2 screws. And because I use the handle version with the threaded insert, I grab one of these very small ones. You can also use the grip version with M2 nut instead, if you prefer this. For the threaded insert I use this very fancy soldering iron that PCBWay kindly provided me with and that you can buy on their store page. It is wireless and temperature controlled and uses a super capacitor for its power. And it's in. Of course you don't need one of these to melt the thread in, just like you don't need the fanciest motion controlled electric screwdriver. But as a tech nerd I am really excited about such over-engineered tools. So now the grip is finished and we come to the last part, the sliding mechanism. The first step is to drill this hole here. I use this 1.4mm wide drill bit for that. 
This allows us to screw on the sliding blocks on both sides. They will travel in this channel here and will then be held in these notches at the rear and front ends. For this we need another M2 by 14mm screw, then we can slide in the blade assembly. On this side goes the block that is a bit taller than the other one. Screwing that in, but not all the way. Then you can add the other side and screw all the way through. As you can see, the 14mm screw is a bit too long. So I have to cut this to the right size. A 12mm long M2 screw would probably be the right size for this, but I don't have this. So I cut it and file it and all the way through so that this knife is finished. In my opinion, the best gravity knife that you can 3D print, a great fidget tool that brings back the fun of cutting open boxes. If you liked that video, you're very welcome to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next, the building of this folding carom bit or rather this survival bow. Thank you for watching and we see us in the next one. Oh, that's also a cool video. And this one is even better.